All right, guys, we're back out in the shop with Mikey and Luis, and they just finished up on the part. And let's go check it out. That's the last operation, cutting the bottom cut. You already did it. But look how pretty that is. Let's go put it on the car. So I decided to convert my jackhammer back to a sledge because I want to make some more sledge parts like this little slide we're doing. And uh, so I got an incredible mess. I got parts everywhere, but let's flip her around and see what, see what this is going to do. I'm going to put it on. We'll go with the 113 right now. And it seems like I got a, seems like I got something around here. Seems like I got something around here that, that was five millimeters thick to make up, make that a 56 118. Let's go check it out. I got so much crap. Oh, there it is. There's our little five millimeter doodad, isn't it? No, is it? I think so. Anyway, I'm gonna put you guys on the stand and we'll put this thing together. I'll trim out some of this stuff. That should be good. So, I'm gonna put them in frame here and get this sucker, the little sucker put on the screen. Ooh, that's good. Nice. Let's see which one we wanna use. I'm gonna go to the inside of the truck. How do you like that? This is what I'm working out of. <laughs> I just dig around until I find a screw. I got one laying here. Oh, I do got one laying here. All right. Now, I don't recommend doing this on your truck, because if you put too long a screw in here, you're gonna scrap your motor. This motor's already scrapped, so I'm not too worried about it. These do look a little bit long. Yeah, they're all right. Oh, did you guys hear that? Yeah, it did catch something in that motor. Like I said, this one's crap. I'm just grabbing whatever's on the table. All right, so let's flip this sucker over. My dad has an obsession with, oh, there's the screws for the motor mount. My dad has an obsession with taking the arms off the cars when he works on them, so he doesn't like them flopping around. Me, I like them to be more fully assembled, let's put it that way. Now. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a scrap chassis because somebody bent the, uh, somebody did the side bends backwards. So you, you will probably have to loosen the motor mount bolts and tilt this thing up because I don't think this thing will go past the side bends on a regular chassis. Let's see if I did a good job or not. <laughs> Look at that, boys. Ooh, looks like 56-113 is going to be the biggest, but I'm really setting this thing up for the 56-90. I'll cut, the, I'll cut a little bit out, but let's get in here and really take a look at this thing. Bam! So 56-113 is going to be your max length. Check that out. <laughs> Now we just, now we just gotta make sure everything's just right. I'm just gonna lay right on the chassis. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna get this one to you. I know this episode took a little long to produce. Didn't make it on Saturday. That's all right. You know why? Because it has to be, because I wasn't done. <laughs> okay guys, so I wanted to add that in order to get this huge can on there. Now this is a 56113, so you're gonna be about here on a 5690. It is gonna require you to trim that off your side guard and uh, not use that screw. But you got another screw back here, you got another screw back here, and you got these other two screws. Um, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. I got a 20 pinion on there. 
But, I mean, you should be able to go way out before you hit that second screw. I, I modified these screws, and I'm about right there. I'm trying to get the camera in there. There's a big old gap right there. Let's, let's see what'll fit while I got you. Here's a 30. <laughs> you can put a 30 on it comfortably because that's where our hole is. You can put a 30 on it comfortably. I don't know if you want to gear it that high, but with this big motor, you could put a lot of gear on there. Looking good. Hey, what's happening, guys? We're here in the lab, and I'm producing this video for the How Do They Do That episode 7.3 on doing this slide. And I wanted to let you guys know that this is not the last episode, just because we got the slide on the truck and everything's fitting beautifully. This is not the end of the How Did They Do That series on uh, this slide, because I got some more stuff for the sledge coming up. Stay tuned.